just look down, there's blood and I'm disconcerted. And now I'm even more disconcerted. Dispose of this annoyance at once. Hey everybody, welcome back to Dong and Rampa. I'm dead. We got cave. Hi, I've got cat. <laughs> and we are going to the strawberry tower. Wait, did we check the uh, last room? We checked everything in there. Okay. According to the map, Strawberry Tower is on the other side of this door. Mm -hmm. There's no doorknob. There's no way we can open a door like this. Maybe you just have to press the button next to the door. You fucking dumbass. What? That doesn't make sense. You know, the one that has open <laughs> Oh my god. Fucking I love Hajime, Hajime just destroying Nakamaru there. I fucking love Hajime. He's so good. I think he's my favorite Danganronpa character so far. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. I like Detective Girl from the first one. She's fun. She's fun, but not nearly as fun as just... I'm just fucking done with all of you. <laughs> you don't want to trust me? Fine. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, just fuck off. I'm gonna go, go solve this by myself again. Oh, look, you don't trust the guy who's solving all the murders. I wonder why. Yeah, I know what my ultimate is. The ultimate fucking fed up with your bullshit. <laughs> I wonder what it means. It's funny. And it spelled just like the word open. It spelled just like the word open. I... Wait, seriously? Nekamaru. Oh. Anyway, I just have to press this button then. Nekamaru raised his right arm and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. He's trying to call uh, an elevator. He's one of those people when waiting for an elevator. Yeah, just... And because he's a robot, he can go, like, at fucking, like, jackhammer speeds. Yeah, he just has to push the turbo button on his chest and start jackhammering it. And yes, ladies, that's for you. Another sex toy designed by men. <laughs> you know, the jackhammer. <laughs> Oh, man. So, this is the Strawberry Tower, huh? The building is shaped like a huge circle. Plus, the ceiling is so high, I can't really make it out. Jeez. More of these bright red decorations. What terrible taste. Huh? Well, with a name like Strawberry Tower, I guess terrible decorations are intentional. <laughs> <laughs> Nakamaru getting some cuts in, too. Yeah, boy. I'm rubbing off on him. <laughs> He's running snark.exe. <laughs> That's right. Uh, this is the strawberry tower, right? Then why? Why do I see something that doesn't match the strawberry theme at all? Oh wait, I can see. I can see the lid. I can see the ceiling. It's right there. Look. No, no, no. That's just the textures glitching. Don't, <laughs> don't notice that. That's just the edge of the skybox. <laughs> this is such terrible taste. Well, if Monokuma did the decorating, it's a given that the place would have terrible taste. Damn! <laughs> Snark.exe cuts deep! Yeah! My boy, he's learning. Oh, that's what it is. He's not actually Nakamaru. He's a learning AI, and he's picking up Hajime's snark. <laughs> By the end of it, it'll be like the, uh... It'll be like the fucking... Like... Kiyotaka Mar or whatever the fuck the wherever fuck like Prep Boy and what when Prep Boy like went insane and like absorbed the personality of Oh yeah. But it'll be Nekamaru who absorbed Hajime just by hanging out with him. Is it Takamaru? No, it's Kiyotaka. It's Kiyotaka. Yeah, it's Kiyotaka and he another guy. To call him Taka. I need to replay that game. There's a huge door Again. at the front at the far back of the tower. But there's a but there's a grapes image on it. I thought this was the strawberry tower. Wait, this image. Doesn't it match the one on the lounge phone? And the one we found near the first floor elevator? Perhaps. This door might be the exit. Huh? Exit? Take a look at the map we received from Monokuma. I see. There's a door at the far side of the Strawberry Tower, but nothing is drawn on the other side of that door. Now... I could actually go for some grapes. Now, doesn't this mean that the exit is on the other side of this door? Therefore, we must try to confirm it by opening this door! Hey, Nakamaru, you just pooped! <laughs> Finally! 
Mechamaru let out a battle cry, grabbed the doorknob tightly with both hands, and attempted to pry the door open. However, <laughs> what does this mean? The doorknob won't budge, not even one bit. Is it locked? Well, shit. It appears to be locked tight. Show some spirit. In that case, I shall use my full power. <laughs> with a fierce roar, Nekamaru put all his power into grabbing the doorknob with both hands. But oh, he grabbed a knob with both hands, all right. Here it comes, the incredible strength of one million horsepower. Wait, isn't it creaking? If you break the doorknob, if you break off the doorknob, we'll be stuck in here. Eh, that'll be bad. So, shouldn't we discuss this with everyone else before you attempt to force your way through? I see. Hmm, you have a point. What Nekamaru didn't know was that while being a robot, he still had the strength of a, just a regular guy. Oh. What Nekamaru didn't know is that Monokuma specifically gave him the strength of a wet noodle <laughs> so that he couldn't break anything ever again. I am Nekamaru, the world's most powerful soda machine. <laughs> Very well then. Even though the door would even though the, even though the door would have opened soon, I'll give it a rest. <laughs> I'm waiting till the end where he like the door opens and he's like, I loosened it for you guys. <laughs> then let's go back to Strawberry House and discuss this with everyone. If they'll listen to what I have to say, that is. Of course not. Yeah, you're the protagonist in a Dong and Rampa game. Do you know one's gonna listen to you until they're all dead? Yeah. Hmm. Is it just me or does it seem to be rowdy by the elevator over there? Did something happen? Turbo mode. Oh. Yo, what's up, dude? <laughs> Come on, dude. You, how are you guys doing? Were you able to get a general idea of Strawberry House's side? Huh? Strawberry House's side? That's a strange thing to say. It sounds like there are other buildings. Of course! Of course! That's why there's this thing called a contact elevator. Let me ask. Contact elevator, you say? Even though it's an elevator, it's a big mistake to think it that it moves vertically. This is an elevator that travels along a rail, so even moving horizontally is easy as pie. Then, does this elevator go to a different building? Yep. That's right, to Grape House. Grape House. Huh? Grape House. Grape House. Hey. The fun house is an enormous building that's made up of other buildings. See ya later! Well, we can worry about the details when we get to Grape House. I'll be going ahead. I... I don't really get it, but... He just wanted to tell us to go to Grape House this time, right? Um... And that we must ride that elevator, right? And somehow he's say screwed. this is Hajime's idea. Exactly. What should we do? Show some spirit! We just gotta go for it! The only thing, the only way we can overcome the situation is to make a move. I mean, we we should wait until Hajime says we have to do it. That way we can blame him. B but still, you know. What? You scared? Of course not. Ah, oh, hell no! Why are you saying that in front of Miss Sonia? I love that we gave both these guys the same voice. <laughs> Similar voices, but our Brooklyn accents are slightly different. Fine, I'll fucking go. <laughs> I'm not scared at all. Well, I don't have it as bad as Kachuichi, but I do have a bad feeling about this. But we can't just stand around here and do nothing. All right, let's go. When I pressed the but when I pressed the great button next to the door, it immediately opened, and Kazuichi jumped at me. Jump shot! He's trying something. Get him! <laughs> we stepped into the elevator, and off we went to Grape House. Uh. I, I was I was making my jokes earlier because that's 
what they basically did when they got into the funhouse. They all said it was Hajime's idea and started blaming him. Entirely. It's like, come on. Well, uh, Kazuichi uh, said it, and then everyone else didn't disagree. Yeah. Is this already moving? Hmm. If so, that'd be awesome. Oh, so? Hey. I mean, it's not vibrating at all, right? This is probably a really high performance elevator if it's not vibrating that much. Maybe it's not actually moving. All right, let's open the door and make sure. Getting more and more Valley Girl with her. You must not. You cannot. This is too dangerous. After staying inside the vibration free elevator, Another yeah. sex toy design. <laughs> yeah, me kind of would have hated this. <laughs> Eventually, the door in front of us suddenly opened. It appears we've arrived at our destination. <laughs> Ugh, green doesn't make it better. <laughs> no, it does not. At least the fruit's more palatable. So, this is Grape House. Grape House! <laughs> I don't know why it's more fun to yell Grape House like Animal House than Strawberry House. I know, right? Despite Animal and Strawberry having the same syllables. You'd think yelling Strawberry House would be like... It flows, you know? Like, just as Animal House does. But Grape House is way more fun. Was it actually Animal House in the movie, though? Yeah. I, I, I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure the dude yelled Animal House. Like, it wasn't the name of the house, but that's what everyone called it. No matter where I look, everything is plastered with grape patterns. I was already fed up with the strawberry patterns, but this was also unpleasant. Welcome! Okay, welcome to Grape House. Now then, allow me to explain the Grape House. Ta-da! This is Grape House in its entirety. So, let's start explaining the first floor. Ahem, aside from the fact that there's no final dead room, it's basically no different from Strawberry House. Just like how there's a strawberry hall over there, there's a grape hall on this side. And when you go through Grape Hall, that means there's a grape tower. The second floor of Grape House is the same as second floor of Strawberry House. Oh god, the rooms are just as garish. I've prepared five guest rooms of different types, along with a relaxing lounge. But the main attraction of Grape House is obviously the third floor. The Monokuma Archive! Everyone loves the Monokuma Archive. I hate it. If you want to know about my proud accomplishments and contributions, feel free to study the literature there. Okay, so I think I'm starting to get what the plan here is for Monokuma. We're going to be separated into grape and strawberry teams, and then one person from each team is going to die and then blame the other. Uh, that could work. Now then, this concludes the tour, but I believe it would be difficult to understand if I just explained it with words. So you should all use your own two feet and check out the inside of the building. And remember, no eyes. And no feet either. Well, you just said. I know what I said. Don't question me. That's all from me. Any questions? Good. Goodbye. Like, I'm starting to get hungry. Where's the food, anyway? <laughs> <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Huh? Is that necessary? Hey. What are you saying? Of course it is. <laughs> but it's supposed to be an escape game. So how can there be any tension if there's no time limit? So question. He said... You starve to death in two weeks. Goodbye. I am curious. I can't remember. Did he say we got out of here when we killed someone or when someone died? Uh, I don't remember. Because if it's when someone died, oh boy, we just gotta wait those two weeks out for one of us to die of starvation. Well, Nakamura will be fine. And you can extend that time because you have an infinite soda fountain, so you can get ca uh, calories. It's not necessary cal- it's not like healthy calories, but it'll keep you alive. Ooh, or 
We disconnect Nekamaru's robot heart. He'll technically die. Then we can just put it back See, in. I still assume that Nekamaru is organic on the inside. I don't. I assume it's like a Ghost in the Shell situation where they just ripped his brain out and shoved it in a robot body. Or Robot Man. Know. There it is. Doom Patrol. That it. That's it. So I've decided to use your stomachs as the time limit. Okay, there's that little black streak in, the, in like the upper corner beneath like the music thing. I thought that was a cat hair on my screen. Don't tell me. What, what do you mean? In other words, <laughs> it means kill someone before you starve to death. Lies. What, what the heck? <laughs> if you're planning to kill someone, I highly recommend you make your kill as soon as possible. <laughs> It'll be too late if you get so weak you have no energy to kill. But the other people have no energy to defend either. Check and mate, atheist. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, hold on! Huh? Stop. Damn it. How much more of this do we have to take until he's satisfied? Uh, was he serious about there being no food? I don't want that! No way. That's the one thing I don't want. The murder's fine, fine, but no your food. Boots will feed you for a while. <laughs> I don't mind starving as long as I can eat. Well, Girl hey, there's a statue right there. What bored me. Jeez. As soon as she learned there was no food, she's overcome by hunger. Obsessions are truly annoying. But at least try to stay calm. Now is not the time for you to panic. Well, being loud here isn't going to help us. So for now, we should explore the inside of this building, too. Right. After all, if you don't give up, you're sure to find hope. Isn't that right, Fuyuhiko? Huh? Yeah. That's right. All right. Then let's get started. The same pairing as before is fine, right? Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hold on. This time around, I really want to pair up with Miss Zoe. <laughs> Desperate! She already left ah! the Gundam. Oh! You just get nothing. <laughs> Take that, you tier 3 sub son of a bitch. <laughs> oh. Looks like you're being avoided, not just rejected. Oh, was Snark.exe a, like a fucking like, network wide patch? <laughs> I, I honestly, I think it's less snark.exe and snark the snark virus. It's spreading. <laughs> That's the true motive. But Hajime is seemingly First unaffected. First, it was the despair vi disease, and now it's the snark virus. <laughs> <laughs> dot dot dot. He's about we, to cry. Does Kazuichi have <laughs> milk, does Kazuichi have like a milk fountain in his eyes? <laughs> hey. Ugh. Kazuichi, I understand that you're feeling down, but we better get going. We wouldn't want you. To, we wouldn't want you to be to like. We want your tears to attract the traitor over there. <laughs> Damn right. Akane, you too. How much longer are you gonna stay shocked? Come on, let's go. With heavy steps, except for Yuhiko, because he's so tiny. <laughs> Everyone left to explore the grape house. Then... Hey there, Twinkle Toes. What was that? You cut? Well, weird for a second. I I I called uh, uh, Fuyuhiko Twinkle Toes. <laughs> I am not Twinkle Toes. I wear leaded shoes to make my steps have more weight. Now then, where should we start? Since we're on the first floor, it might be okay if we start with Grape Tower. I see. Hmm. So you're saying we should start with the most suspicious place? All right, I pooped. Let's go. <laughs> let's start with Grape Tower. <laughs> Disc read error. <laughs> also, you're all wearing clothes, and a lot of fabric is actually shockingly edible. I mean, you might make yourself a little sick from eating the dyes, but... Eh. Clay's technically edible. There's a statue over there. Uh, that looks like it's made out of stone. Eh, six, one, half a dozen, the other. Let's go. 
you think, what do you think those grapes are filled with? I think those are glass, if I'm honest. Hmm. Is there a way to reverse engineer glass back into sand? It still won't provide you any nutrients, mon frere. It won't, but it'll make your stomach feel full. <laughs> Pig. Pig Emmy. Okay, what do you want? I haven't, we haven't got a chance to like ow, do ow. any downtime, so I don't have anything new, so I'll just give you the all the shit I have. Give you less despair. You gave the fat pig a, a sweet bun. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm an awful parent. Yeah, I should just say, I have no strategy for this. I'm just going. Yeah, there, like, there is a mountain of information on how to get, like, all the variety of pig emmies. Yeah, I think so. I've just gotten pigs. I wonder why. Because you have no strategy? Yep. Wait a minute. There you go. Have a DVD set. <laughs> Nobody else wanted it. Yeah. The person I was going to give it to died, so I guess it's yours. Okay, so let's... Let's check the bathrooms. <laughs> so there's a bathroom here as well. Regardless, I still cannot shit. That's the only downside to this body. Have you finally acknowledged that you can't poop? The only downside? Your optimism is praiseworthy. It's a wall clock. Since there are no Windows of Monokuma announcements, I have to rely on the clocks to know what time it is. Oh! Oh shit! Oh, it's bronze. It's even less edible. It's also your girl. Best girl. Yeah. What is this muscular bronze statue? It's probably an ornament. It doesn't, but it doesn't fit the uh, ambiance at all. Oh, there's a name written here on it. Hmm. Ogre? Does that mean this is a statue of an ogre? Why is it wearing a sailor uniform? <laughs> Oh, How'd you may ask the that, real questions? That is, that is so weird to think about. Yeah. I also it it's so fucked up to me, like how much Shrek has painted ogre lore in like Western pop culture. Yeah, well what you gonna do? I'm trying to think of a way to work up some I'm trying to think of a way to work an all star joke in there and I can't. Look at that statue. I'm starting to feel a little excited. But why is there a statue like that in a place like this? I almost made her go Fuyuhiko for a second. I'm gonna do it! Wait. Is this creature inside this building? Oh my god. I don't think so. This is probably in the hall just to garnish it. Huh? Garnish? You mean like a food garnish? Oh, is it food? No. Is it tasty? It's not food. Let her try. It's just Let decoration. Her try. Now, you fucking know how goddamn stubborn and insane she is. She will fucking rip a leg off. <laughs> and then the, and then Sakura comes out of the statue and yeah. beats Monokuma up. Thank you for freeing it's me the from the statue. Ending. Yeah, it's, 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 like, it's like the dog ending in Silent Hill. Yeah. Stavina seems like a pretty straight, pretty seems pretty straightforward for Monokuma. That piece of shit. How dare he pull such a dirty trick on civilians? Right, yeah, Yakuza and the civilian. Okay. I keep forgetting that Yakuza refer to, like, non Yakuza people as civilians. Huh? Grape House, huh? This place has terrible taste as well. <laughs> Nakamaru. I'm liking yeah. you more and more, buddy. Grape Tower is beyond this door, right? Just like a strawberry hall, I only need to press this button. Show some spirit! 
Nekamaru raised his voice and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. Brrrr. Hmm. It's not opening. Huh. That is weird. When we were at Strawberry Hall, all oh, this should have opened. What? Don't tell me it's out of order. Find time for it to break down. Well, it obviously shouldn't. <laughs> Did you hear something? And that's when Nekamaru started shouting. The door opened. Did the other floor have a Monokuma on its bottom? I don't remember it having a. I don't remember it having anything on the bottom. Hmm. But what was that pause just now? Why did the door open right away? I see. So this is Grape Tower. Hmm. The structure of this building doesn't seem all that different compared to Strawberry Tower. Yeah, you're right. The building is the same circular shape, and the ceiling is just as high, just as high and hard to make out. No, <laughs> oh, we'll see about that, buddy. However, this wall is green. Strawberry Tower's wall is red. Good for you. <laughs> you still have your color vision. There are some people who would uh, be very upset by uh, that because, well, they don't. Just looked up an image. It is uh, Osami's face on Strawberry House's floor as well. It would have been very funny to me if we got here and this is where we learned that Nekamaru was colorblind. <laughs> Even while being a robot. <laughs> Monokuma specifically uh, made his robot eyes to also be colorblind. Well, speaking of different, something blatantly different over there. D's nuts. <laughs> on the Grape Tower door at the far back, there's a strawberry image on here. The strawberry door inside Grape Tower. That sounds complicated. I shoved a crayon oh, up my really? nose and I think it transferred over to my robot body. <laughs> it's like the opposite of Strawberry Tower. Do, do you know do you know what opposites are, buddy? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> you picked up the snark virus. <laughs> I, I never I never didn't have it, dude. As I recall, there should have been a grape image on the on the far back door of Strawberry Tower. So on the strawberry side there's a grape. On the grape side, a strawberry door. That's even more complicated. However, this time however, this time, this door might connect to the outside. I see. It's obvious by looking at this map. Since there's nothing beyond the far back door of Grape House. Well, actually, there's no far back door of Grape House on the map. Yeah, there's no door on this. Like, the other map actually had a door outline, but this map doesn't. That fucking reminds me. Like, this is this is a fucking tangent, but whatever. I did. I, we had this fucking, like, thing we did in, like, grade three, where we, like, went around and, like, had to, like, match like store names to a map of the city we lived in and the map was wrong the teachers while looking at the thing that the map was wrong about were telling me I was wrong oh that's always fun yeah. if so the only thing we could do is try it hold it I heard what you guys were discussing but it'd be pointless to even try I think what w what did you say before we get to that before we get to that that's me why are you... Oh, sorry. My bad. <laughs> it was on Chiaki, so I thought she was voicing it. Before we get to that, why are you here, Chiaki? Weren't you with Nakito and Kazuichi? They don't want to talk about video games, so I left them. It's exhausting <laughs> to be around those two. Yeah, it is. I need a nap. So you ran away. I'd rather travel with Chiaki than not. Yeah. She's, you know, fun. Yeah. Um, that door doesn't lead outside. I think it's pointless to even try it out. Definitely. Definitely, you say. It's rare for Chiaki to be that certain. Yep. I have a good reason for that. I think I found out the 
secret of the fun house's structure. The secret of the structure. Want me to tell you? Do you want me to explain it to you? Well, pay close attention to each house's relationship to its respective tower. Okay, so the grape door leads to grape house, and then the strawberry door leads the, is is the door. So, okay. First, try to remember the first floor of Strawberry House. From the elevator, Strawberry Hall is on your left-hand side, right? And if you walk along, you'll end up at Strawberry Tower. See? On the other hand, Grape House. The third floor is blocking the entrance between the two towers. From the elevator, Grey Paul is on your right hand side, right? <laughs> and if you walk. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like a really I'm fucked sorry. up episode of Blues Clues. <laughs> <laughs> You'll end up at Grape Tower, right? Now, here comes the main point. Whoa! Ah, so you were here all along. Ah, uh, hey, hey. run away. Hey, Chiaki, don't go running off on your own. I'd run away I mean, again, it's nice but of him I'm to come looking for her. I'd run away on my own again, but I'm too sleepy. I'm gonna hey. take a nap in here. You disappeared so suddenly. I was worried about you. Ah, <sighs> Kazuichi. Nagito. Thanks to your disappearing, I was left all alone with him. Yeah. And thanks to your appearance, I'm now with you. Fucker. Man. <laughs> oh, was that annoying for you? I have succeeded in my existence. Hell yeah, it was. I don't want to be alone with a creep like you. The feeling is mutual, my guy. I see. So it's not just Hajime you don't trust me either. Huh, Kazuichi? Well, at least we have a reason not to trust you. You planned a murder. Yeah, you attempted homicide, you piece of shit. Yeah, whereas me, humble fucking Hajime, has solved every murder up till. Yeah, so how about you fuck off? Like, there's not even a detective to assist you in this game. Yeah, we got a gamer. Hey, are you okay? Have you stopped trusting other humans? Shut up! Shut up! Well, yeah, thanks to you, you bastard! <laughs> Technically, he spawned the first murder, didn't he? Uh, who, uh, Nagito? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. Fatboy wouldn't have, uh... Okay, so Chef wouldn't have killed Fatboy if it hadn't been for Nagito's plan. Yeah, Nagito's plan was to kill someone at that party. By tripping, by tripping, Leo, by tripping like the breaker, and then Kosuke blackout, and so then Chef was like, "Okay, when he goes down under the table to get the knife, I'm going to go up and stab him." But then Fat Boy had the fucking but not had the fucking night vision goggles. Was like, "Hey, what are you doing under that table, fucker?" Body checks him out and then gets stabbed. Huh? Oh, you all came. <laughs> Good timing. Didn't want to waste any. Didn't want to waste any time gathering people. Huh? That was quick. I thought your investigations would take more time. Well, yeah. There weren't many areas to search. We didn't have any good clues. Damn it. Right now, the only thing I found out is... I, there's I seriously no all. food anywhere. This isn't funny at all. Damn it. I heard that it's super painful to die from starvation. You know what's a lot less painful? Choking death on a hat. Oh, look, you have one. <laughs> Before that happens, why don't we, you know, the hamsters that Gundam carries around? <laughs> Damn, no! You imbecile! You imbecile! What are you implying? Oh, Sonya just cut him down! Suck like a Twitch chat, you fuckers! Ah, I'm sorry! Kazuichi, you should be grateful to Sonya. If you'd gotten your hands on my four dark devas of destruction, your body would be incinerated by hellfire. But are the hamsters gonna be okay without food? It's okay, I filled my hair with sunflower seeds. 
<laughs> you have food. Hamster food, yes. Fortunately, the flowers blooming in Strawberry House's indoor park are cursed flowers from Hell's Garden. Oh yeah, there's fucking sunflowers over there. As long as those seeds are there, the four dark devas of destruction shall not lose a single hit point. Well, that's the thing. Not eating food doesn't subtract hit points. It gives you levels of exhaustion. Yeah. Come on, dude. Keep up. <laughs> Have you never played D&D &D before? I'm relieved to hear that. Now then, let's listen let's to your reports and see what you guys have found. Personally, I'd rather let Chiaki continue her very obvious talk, but... Oh well. I should listen to what everyone has to say. Now then. Is it fine if Gundam Fuyuhiko and I represent our teams and give the reports? Damn right. Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> Rejoice, mongrels. I have discovered something that you fiends will be happy to hear about. A mute button? Yes, our team's discovery is number one. We shall not lose. This isn't a... Okay, fine. I think their priorities are off slightly. Okay, okay so let's talk to Gun first. <laughs> now then, I shall present to you my discovery. Let me tell you. I won't let you say such nonsense like I forgot. Monokuma said it himself before we arrived here. He said there are ship parts in the fun house. Hey, hey. C could it be? <laughs> Kazuichi, and you lonely humans. Kneel. Fall to your knees and show your gratitude to me, the overlord of ice of this destroyed world of death. Blah. Fuck. I hope that flowed better in the original Japanese. Cause that I is hope it a, didn't. Cause that is a fucking dog it's shit. A word title. Salad there. That is a word salad. Feast your eyes on this. <laughs> Behold! A motor! <laughs> when I just noticed the hamster in the corner. I was honestly expecting him to pull out one of those um, model boat kits. I expect him to pull out a hamster. I expect him to pull out a hamster, and the hamster was holding apart. <laughs> also, why is his like hand like pencil sketch? Uh, I think that's just to like help, like, like show that they're it's covered in bandages. But no, like, look, look at his hand in the fucking thing, and look at his hand in the art. For one, it's the wrong hand. I don't know, man. I don't do what. I make knives. Based on an extremely small size, isn't that... that that's just a radio-controlled toy. Fuck. Allow me to tell you a little old story. You see, hamsters can fit on toy boats. I will give send him of, to rescue I us. will give one of my four dark devas of destruction psychic commands to find us help. We could actually see that being his plan. I was born as the oh, result of a God. union between a human and a demon, and my existence was shunned by both races. Okay, cool. You had an abusive step down. Your parents were neglectful. <laughs> oh, damn! Perhaps it was because no one had ever bought me a toy before. But I believe this is truly remarkable. Shut up! Shut up! I'm not asking about that! You mean the ship part you found was just some radio-controlled toy? Loser! <laughs> you totally got tricked! I never said a single word about the ship being real. Stupid! Idiot! Moron! <laughs> That has to be on the <laughs> Like, we face. need to make that, like, the title card. <laughs> nah, I got a title card. <laughs> oh, it's so good! It's very so good. good. <sighs> Looks like we don't even have the strength to get upset. You skipped lunch! It might be better if we leave him alone for a while. 
I think I think it was less like, oh yeah, we're so hungry, we don't have the strength. It's just like we should have seen this coming. <laughs> yeah, you really fucking should have. This is all blade, like bl- 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 blindingly obvious that this would happen. So it was definitely a waste of time to believe Monokuma. If so, what he said about our student profiles might be a lie too. But our situation is getting so grim that I can't really focus on that right now. It's been an hour since we've eaten. And you can see the ceiling. And I, I didn't actually eat all of breakfast. I didn't have my third muffin. Okay, so yeah, it was Gundam Fuyihiko and uh, Nagito that we were going to ask about. Yeah. Damn right. I'm sure the others already know, but let me tell you just in case. The second floor of Grape House ha- also has guest rooms similar to the similar to the ones in the second floor of the Strawberry House. <laughs> but instead of being covered by strawberry patterns, they're covered with grape patterns. Also, ugly, ugly grape patterns. Like the guest rooms, there's a similar lounge here as well. There's also a phone in that lounge too. However, instead of a grape button on it, instead of the grape button that was on the phone in the strawberry lounge, <gasps> there's a strawberry button on the phone in the grape house's lounge. Now, well, I'm just guessing at this point, but it's possible that we can use those two phones to communicate with each other. For sure. So the picture on the buttons shows where each phone connects to. Thank what God. A what a marvelous invention. I wouldn't want to accidentally dial the banana house. <laughs> well, Kane would. <laughs> Girl hungry. Now she needs cucumbers, dude. She eats anything. <laughs> anything. The picture on the buttons shows where each phone connects to. Yeah. That's probably it. <laughs> Just admonishing them in his fucking head. <laughs> These are all fucking idiots. Allow Maybe me to show- give you a brief report. I trapped this goddamn game with the cast of Dora the Explorer. Fuck. <laughs> Someone like since I'm the one who made this discovery, it's just as important as I am. So, so not. it's not. Got it. No good at all. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Goddamn it. Oh, fuck me. He sick burns himself, which hey, means bastard. it's not that important at all. Just hurry up and say it already. Um, well, it's about the third floor of Great House. See? Do you remember what Monokuma said about a Monokuma archive on the third floor? I actually tried to go there. Jeez. Ugh. Like the name suggests, it was an archive full of stuff about Monokuma. Couldn't even get a statue that had a line down the middle of it, huh? Man, you slipping. Yeah, G, come on. It reminded me of those celebrities who built their memorial house in their hometown. Yeah, it does have a bit of like a Graceland feel. Or sorry, a Graceland 2 feel. Then it looks like we don't ever need to go in there. Ever. Ah, also, I found a lost child at the Monokuma archive. A bitch what? A lost child. What? How is that less important than... Okay. Huh? Where did she go? Hey! Hey, don't just hide. Come on out. Where are you hiding in this room? Yeah, fucking seriously. Oh. Oh, okay. What the hell? So the lost child was you. Right? This is how people, that's how people react, right? Well, I had a, I had a general idea of how you all would react. <laughs> It's okay. I won't be depressed anymore. I'm used to being treated so poorly. <laughs> How sad. It's so sad to get used to it. It really is. All right, Miss Piggy. Uh, yeah, I think we'll call it there for today. All right. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a downer, but fuck it. Uh, thank you for joining us. We'll be back at some point more of this. Till then, I'm dead. And I'm Cave. Okay. See you guys next time. Goodbye, have a wonderful time. Excuse me while I whip this out.